these are the five audience members, me included. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests and fellow citizens, I extend my gratitude for your presence as we dive into a pressing matter that strikes at the heart of societal values, the fading essence of manhood and the decline of chivalry. In a world where the reliability of everyday gadgets mirrors the unpredictable nature of our behavior, the noble traits of being a gentleman and undergoing a trouble, troubling erosion that demands our collective attention and action. In the moments ahead, I aim to shed light on the gravity of this issue, propose a solution rooted in education, respect, and accountability, and articulate why this solution stands as the most viable path toward resurrecting the noble spirit of being a gentleman. Chivalry, once syn synonymous with honor, courtesy, and respect, has evolved into a broader con concept encompassing a man's graceful and considerate embrace of his role in society. According to insights from Regain.us, the characteristics of a gentleman such as empathy and politeness are becoming increasingly rare. These foundational principles designed to guide individuals towards noble value, virtues are now under threat from the encroachment of self-centered behavior, observable in our personal relationships and societal norms. The proposed solution necessitates a multi-faced a multifaceted approach. Commencing with education as the foundation, it is imperative to reintroduce the essence of being a gentleman into our educational system, instilling core values from an early age. Historical resources should be leveraged to showcase the positive impact of gentlemanly conduct on society as advocated by Chivalry Now, fostering a culture that, a culture that values and rewards gentlemanly behavior becomes essential for the research we seek. In addressing the restoration of respect it is crucial to acknowledge the effects of modern day social media where the term simp is popularized and portrayed negatively. The term simp is often used to deride individuals perceived as excessively catering to others, particularly in romantic relationships. It is important to, direct, to di differentiate between the derogatory con connotations associated with, about, wait, with being a simp and the virtues of a true gentleman. While the former discourages authenticity and kindness, the latter is grounded in genuine respect, empathy, and considerate behavior. Promoting empathy, empathy and understanding through effective interpersonal communication is the initial step towards embracing the traits of a gentleman. Encouraging media and pop culture to portray positive examples of gentlemanly conduct can reshape societal expectations as highlighted by insights from Berkeley International. Furthermore, workplace programs emphasizing respect, mirroring the ideals of being a gentleman will significantly contribute to the revival we envision. Accountability serves as the linchpin to this resurgence. Establishing community initiatives that encourage individuals to hold themselves and others accountable for gentlemanly behavior is essential. Public awareness campaigns emphasizing the benefits of embracing the traits of a gentleman will contribute to a positive shift as suggested by insights from Carol Magazine. And in conclusion, the demise of gentlemanly conduct is not an inevitable thing. Instead, it is an invitation for us to collectively act and revive this noble essence. By embracing education, restoring respect, and promoting accountability, we can breathe life back into the fading embers of being a gentleman. Let us embark on a journey to resurrect the values of honor, courtesy, and respect, envisioning a world where the, per the spirit of a gentleman once again flourishes in our interactions and communities. It is shared it is our shared responsibility to ensure that the legacy of gentlemanly conduct lives on, not just in history books, but in the very fabric of our society. Thank you. How long was that?